it's really sad, unfortunately. But I, I swear, I'm gonna <laughs> go there once before I graduate from SFU. Hey everyone! Hey. So today I'm here with Daphne, who works here with me at CIS CISM, but also goes to SFU like me. So Daphne, how are your courses so far? Oh, my courses look doing great. Um, but I have my um, Japanese in in class quiz today, and um, I just got kicked out in the middle <laughs> of the quiz by Zoom. So yeah, yeah. that's the <laughs> online learning fun. Um, yeah, that happens all the time. Or the, have you had a prof yet that doesn't really know how to use it and they'll just be like yeah. talking on mute for like five minutes and you're yeah. like in the chat like, still can't hear you, presser. Like it's still, and then he'll just say, mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah, it's a challenge, very fun to navigate so far. Um, so today I was actually hoping to tell like other international students who happen to go to SFU about the different services that they have access to just through their tuition, not even for extra costs. And a lot of these services are still available um, entirely virtually. So Daphne, I was hoping you get us started with explaining a bit about academic advising and how that's working right now. So um, normally we uh, make an appointment with our advisor, but because um, now because of COVID, we have uh, three options for getting help for academic advisor. So the first one will be um, getting like a virtual like a message type of mm, okay. help so you can just type in your questions but it has to be like a really general questions um if you are, want to ask more complicated questions you might have to make an appointment um with your advisor so the option two will be uh like a drop in section so um they have like office hours every day i think it's from 11 30 to 12 30 and the second section is from 1.30 to 3.30 from Monday to Friday. So um, you don't have to make an appointment for that option. You can just drop in and see if there are advisors that are free, um, they can help you with whatever questions you have. And Perfect. the last option is to make an appointment uh, with your advisor um, on phone or even on Zoom. So um, it will be like a 30 or to 60 minutes uh, appointment um, you can ask more like a deeper questions like uh, what should I do with my majors um, what should I do if I'm on academic probation that kind of stuff so yeah yeah it really depends on like what you need and what question you want to ask yeah I found academic advising to be um, really helpful for course selection mm -hmm. because they tend to know what courses are going to be running even like two semesters ahead which is information yeah. we don't usually have access to so it's really helpful for like mm -hmm planning ahead on your courses and making sure you can still finish your degree when you want to finish it. Um, and it's really similar to career services. So career services works pretty much the same, only it's entirely focused on what you want to do post-grad, um, but they can help you explore like what kind of careers could come out of the major you're taking, help you gain experience, whether it's directing you to co-op or to different internship opportunities. And then they also help you with the job search section. So when you're trying to get a job post-grad, you can go to them and they'll actually connect you with employers, um, which can be really helpful. And they also host a lot of events. So two virtual com ones coming up are, um, there's one for all undergrad students, but especially students in environment um, and arts and social science to learn about what it would be like to work with the federal government. And then there's one for business stats and comp sci students with an employer called FDM. So they can learn about all about how those companies work and what to do to make your application stand out. So definitely check them out. They're like a if you already go to your co-op advisor, you should check them out as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. I heard that they also have resume and cover letters. So yeah, and right. interview help. So yeah. same way with advising, mm -hmm. you can book one-on-one -on -one appointments, um, bring in your resume, bring in your cover letter, or in this case, share your screen, <laughs> um, and they can help you edit or go through a practice interview with you, which is pretty useful if you're looking for jobs or, or a co-op even right now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, did you know anything about the academic writing assistance that's currently available through the library? Oh, so I've been there for a few times. Um, I've been there to discuss my paper uh, with like uh, graduate students or mm -hmm. even like a master students or PhD students. So um, for this time, I think you have to fill in a form call uh, up ahead. Uh, so basically you fill in all your information, what's your major, um, what's your name, and uh, what type of paper you are like writing about and um, yeah so basically they within 20 48 to 72 hours they will just contact you and tell you uh, which one will be your like mentor and then they will just review your paper I oh, think wow. it's 
especially helpful for international students, um, especially if you are just like arrived uh, Canada, in Canada. I think you might need more help, like with like grammatical, mm -hmm. like a like a like all sentence structures, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, they have a lot of um, like writing peers mm -hmm. in the library that are able to help you. So when you have a huge paper that's worth like thirty percent of your mark, twenty five percent of your mark. I always suggest just running by them because like they've had so much experience yeah. writing papers as a master's student. So they're definitely gonna know and they're definitely a level up from like yeah. Grammarly check, you know? Um, awesome, yeah, that I've never been, but I've heard that a lot of people mm. have pretty good experiences working. Okay, and the last service is of course the medical services at SFU. So as a student and as an international student, you'll likely have um, your MSP services from British Columbia, and you'll also have the SFU specific health and dental plan. So that means you can access a bunch of medical services at SFU, like seeing a doctor for anything that's not too intense where you'd have to go to the hospital for it. And they also have a lot of like fun health programs that you can drop into. So for example, my favorite one. Um, my favorite one too. You're already know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> puppy therapy. <laughs> it usually happens like once or twice a semester. Um, and they bring in dogs that you get to like, you line up and you get to go and pet them for like 15 minutes between classes. And it's pretty cute. Have you been before? I've never been there before because I always have classes during those times. Um, it's really sad, unfortunately. But I, I swear, I'm gonna <laughs> go there once before I graduate from SFU. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like actually, like right now at SFU, they're doing a survey about how they could offer like yeah. puppy therapy mm -hmm. virtually, so you could at least like see all the dogs yeah. hanging out together. <laughs> um, and then, of course, if you need like a different type of mental health support, they also have counselors and psychologists mm -hmm. available to you for regular appointments, um, for drop-in programs, and online through yeah, my I'm SSP. Assume, yeah. Have you used my SSP? Uh, no, not yet, but I, mean, I know they are there. Yeah. yeah, so they're usually, I think there's actually an app for it, mm -hmm. but it's just like free 24-7 access to any yeah. people um, if you need support or help at whatever time. It doesn't matter where you are in the country right now, but as long as you're an SFU student. And then another one, I don't know if you've heard about yeah. this, but they have like, as I mentioned, they have a lot of different health events where they'll have, like, mindfulness sessions, meditation sessions, they'll put out, like, little courses on how to reduce anxiety, mm -hmm. but they also sometimes offer, um, yoga, and sometimes, like, with on campus, <laughs> yeah, and you know, it'll be, like, with buddies, so you get to go to, like, the yoga studio on SFU by the gym, yeah. um, and go into a yoga class and do, I've never done this, but I've heard of it, and you get to do yoga with bunnies, yeah. which could be quite relaxing. Mm. I mean, I'd be scared about crushing the bunny, but I know it, like, it tends to, like, the tickets fill up and it gets really full, yeah. so that's another service that you could also use um, as a part of SFU Medical Service. Yeah, so I hope that was helpful for you guys. There's actually quite a few services out there on Canadian universities that you technically do pay for in your mm -hmm. tuition and like activity fees, but then you yeah. don't even know about them. Like the academic writing one you mentioned yeah, with like- Yeah, the academic writing one. Um, there's also a website called um, Write Fast. So mm -hmm. it's like a free, free website. Um, you can just upload your um, assignment or even your paper and then people would just like comment below and yeah, yeah, which is like is insane. Easy. Someone will just peer review your work yeah. for you without for you even, like for free without you asking. Yeah. So services like that that you might not even know are around are really helpful to know about. So I hope that if you're going to SFU, you'll keep those four services we mentioned in mind and then you'll be ready to go. All right, so if you're a new student or a student planning to come to SFU, make sure you keep these services in mind. It's really helpful to know before you're like in your third year and then you didn't even know there was bunny yoga. <laughs> yeah. So that was our SFU themed video. Of course, we'll be putting out more content on myCISM.com, our website, and our YouTube channel, Official CISM. So if you see us over on our YouTube, make sure you like the video and subscribe for more content. Maybe in the future, Daphne and I will do another one that's SFU specific. All right. Thanks, everyone. See you later. Bye. Bye.